What's going on everybody? I'm back with another video and in this video I'm gonna show you all what I've been picking up over the last few months. So stay tuned. What is up everyone? Oh my god, it has been a long time since my last upload. Thank you so much for coming back to the channel. If you've never been here before, I appreciate you clicking on this video. My name is Hangman, aka Captain Horror, and I got a nice collection update for you today. It's been a long time, man, but the collecting has not stopped. It has slowed down just a bit, but it has not stopped. I'm busy with a lot of things, life, blah, blah, blah. You know what's up. It's not easy for me to give constant uploads, but if you're still here, if you're still rocking with me, I really appreciate you. And thank you to all the new subscribers. Welcome 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 to the channel so a lot has been going on since my last upload which was like maybe two months ago first and foremost gonna explain why I sound like this my voice is a little hoarse I don't usually sound this way last week Wednesday I went to see Wu-Tang Clan and Nas rip it up at Barclays Center in Brooklyn I had an amazing time it was just like my childhood all over again on stage I grew up listening to Wu-Tang and Nas in the 90s and this year marks 50 years since hip-hop became a genre so this is a big year for hip-hop fans and hip-hop artists alike and i'm definitely a fan and i'm also a hip-hop artist i have done hip-hop many years ago and i still write hip-hop as well i just haven't recorded anything new that actually segues into my next thing that i want to do i just want to give a shout out to one of my viewers his name is jay jay is the son of a very good friend of mine that i used to rock with years ago back in the late 90s he was the first hip hop producer that I ever worked with. Just want to give a shout out to Jay. Thank you so much for watching, man. I know your family very well. Your father's like my brother, so I'm basically like your uncle. But again, thank you for watching. I really appreciate your support, little man. And also want to give a shout out to Keisha Lacey of the Random Horror Show podcast. I just did an episode with her um, last week, Saturday. I'm recording this on October 1st. So happy October, everyone. Finally, the official Halloween season is kicking in. But yeah, I did a, a podcast episode with her about a week ago. As soon as I get the link from her, I will pass it on to y'all. Hopefully you enjoy it. It was a lot of fun doing it with her, and I really appreciate her giving me the time to talk on her podcast, The Random Horror Show, on Instagram, and The Random Horror Show on Spotify. That's where you can find her podcast. Also, before I get into my collection update, I'm sorry. I'm just talking a lot before I even get into it. If you're still rocking with me in this video, you are the shit. But there were so many announcements that have been announced that uh, in the past few days uh today vinegar syndrome just announced their uh new movies coming out for the month of october that includes mother's day it includes uh rabbit grannies and a new vsa vsa with cynthia rothrock which i'm not that interested in but i'm definitely gonna get that mother's day and i'm gonna get rabbit grannies and their flash pre-order for the black friday sale just passed as well the new vsu is gonna be daryl i pre-ordered that there's a couple other things that i'm interested in like the prophecy one through three might get that and uh, maybe something else now that we got that out the way there was so many announcements there's a lot to talk about there's actually a couple more but i'll talk about that in the end all right so the first one i want to show here is the dvd the only dvd that i got in this haul and that is monster in the closet this is a movie that i discovered on prime video one night and I was I was blown away by it. It's a trauma film. This one was a really fun one, and it has a very young Paul Walker in here. I was surprised to see him in this movie. First time I ever saw him as an actor was in The Skulls, so I had no idea that he started acting at such a young age. It was really, really cool to see him in here, especially now that he's no longer with us, and I had to check it out to see if it was on Blu-ray, but there's no Blu-ray of this. This needs a 4K transfer. I would love to see this on 4K, and I would love to see Vinegar Syndrome do it. Next up, I want to go through the studio releases that I picked up. First up from the studio releases is ferris bueller's day off on 4k got the slipcover edition was not fond of the steelbook edition do not like that artwork at all love this movie so much grew up with it childhood favorite cannot go wrong with ferris bueller's day off very happy to see john hughes movies getting the 4k treatment next up for the studio releases is salem's lot one that i've been meaning to pick up for a very long time classic uh tv miniseries always heard great things about it i did watch this copy i enjoy the movie very much i think it was very very good very creepy very well done uh toby hooper classic for sure cannot believe it took me so long to even watch this movie let alone buy it next up we have heat 
this is the 4k edition of heat without the slip cover because this is stupid old <laughs> i waited a long time the only reason i picked this one up is because it was there was like a flash sale on amazon this thing was like four dollars and change so i jumped all over it and not too long after it went back up in price to like maybe seven bucks or something like that it's really not that expensive of a, of a 4k but it's really not that good of a 4k either this 4k is widely regarded as one of the worst 4k transfers out there for one of the best movies that have ever been made that's a shame i don't think this is going to get another transfer from, from anyone else but if we're lucky if we're lucky maybe a company like arrow will take it put it out on 4k in a nice limited edition box that is very possible i'm hoping something like that happens that would be awesome but I'm, I'm very happy to add heat to the collection this is a movie that i grew up watching childhood favorite well really from my teens i remember watching this in the movie theater with my brothers back in 1995 what an experience it was blew me away this is definitely one of the best crime dramas that have ever been released and last for the studio releases i have nightmare before christmas or the nightmare before christmas excuse me <laughs> it's unfortunate because this particular release has issues if you're watching it on a ps5 the video the picture is fine but the audio quality is terrible for some reason the audio quality does not play well on a ps5 it's very unfortunate because i don't know when i'm gonna get a 4k player i've been rocking with this ps5 for a while it's been my main 4k player to play all these transfers and this is the first time i've run into any issues with any transfers so if you own a ps5 and you haven't gotten this release yet beware be aware that you're gonna have issues with the audio. So the next one I wanna show is sort of a boutique slash uh, studio release from the Vestron Collector Series line, and that is My Best Friend is a Vampire. I don't know of this having a Blu-ray transfer, so I had to get the DVD. And this is a um, this is a Lionsgate film, so I'm really hoping that they um, end up releasing this under the Vestron Series line. I got exactly what I wanted in just a few months. I am so ecstatic to own this on Blu-ray. This is one of my favorite movies from the 80s. Very fun horror comedy. Very similar to Fright Night and also Once Bitten. I love it. Next up, I want to show the Vinegar Syndrome releases that I got. This is actually my very small haul from the Summer Subscriber Week sale. I ended up picking up Schizoid, double feature with X-Ray. This is one that was on sale, obviously. I can't remember what I got it for. I think it was like 18 bucks or something. I also picked up The Corruption of Chris Miller. The reason I picked this one up is, one, it comes highly recommended from a lot of content creators, and two, because it was the one of the newer VSMC um, slips that you can get with your points. So I decided to spend my points on this beautiful slip cover and get the movie as well to go with it, of course. And I also, picked up this incredible comic book set the zombie comic book set from vinegar syndrome and abon press their newest venture their newest collaboration i should say is with abon press to put these awesome comic books out i'm not going to unbox this i'm just going to show it real quick i did shoot an unboxing video for this that was just a complete disaster i just completely scratched that video i'm not going to put it up i already deleted it hopefully i can do one because i definitely want to dive into this and give my thoughts on it and that's all i got from vinegar syndrome during that sale next up I want to show something that's not movie related this is related to the anniversary of hip-hop this year the 50th anniversary and it directly relates to the show that i was just at last week that i was talking about the wu-tang and Nas show i picked up a seven inch vinyl this is from massappeal.com and this vinyl is uh, a single it is only two songs on here one song on each side and the first side side a has the um nas classic new york state of mind and side b has the wu-tang classic protect your neck yeah man this is a beautiful beautiful seven inch it's made to look like a subway token very cool so now I want to show what I picked up during the Criterion sale back in July. So first up from the Criterion sale, I picked up Hollywood Shuffle. Winky Dinky Doll. Winky Dinky Doll. This is a childhood favorite for me. I grew up watching this movie. Amazing, amazing film from Robert Townsend. Very, very good. Very important film with a lot of important themes in it regarding black cinema. One of my favorite comedies from the 80s. I highly recommend it. If you love 80s comedy and if you're into the Wayans Brothers kind of films too because uh, I believe Keenan Ivory Wayans co-wrote this film with Robert Townsend and um, you see him in here with Damon Wayans as well. Very early roles for them. Next up, from the Criterion sale, I picked up After Hours. Did 
this is a blind buy for me i've never seen this uh a martin scorsese classic very different from his usual mafia fair that he's most famous for very very cool release i cannot wait to finally pop it in check it out this is a 4k release so very happy for that next up for the criterion collection i picked up raging bull that's entertainment this is the 4K release. Very happy to own this. Uh, had this on DVD, so this is a very, very good upgrade for me. Never bought it on Blu-ray. Another Martin Scorsese classic from the Criterion Collection. Really happy to own this one. Robert De Niro is incredible in this, and the black and white looks awesome. Most black and white 4K transfers definitely look very good, and this is no exception. And last up for the Criterion Collection movies that I picked up is Fast Times at Ridgemont High, another classic that I love. This is not from my childhood though. I did not grow up watching this movie. I think I saw this for the first time sometime in my 20s, but definitely enjoy it. Very, very awesome 80s teen comedy. <laughs> All I need are some tasty waves, cool buzz, and I'm fine. So I have one release here from Second Sight that I picked up, and that is It Follows, the limited edition. This set was a blind buy for me when I bought it, but I finally watched it last night with my wife, and I must say, I really enjoyed it. This is definitely a good film. One that I can't believe I never checked out. It's like almost 10 years old now. This came out in 2014. So yeah, very happy to have this. I liked it very much. The music, the score in this from Disaster Piece is fucking phenomenal. Oh my God, I got a sound bar. That's all I got is just a sound bar and a subwoofer. It's not on the floor, it's actually up there. This sounded amazing. I mean, the, just incredible, incredible. Second Sight does such great work, man. And just the cinematography in this thing was just very, very good. I, it was one of the things that stood out to me the most and the dreamlike feel of the whole film. I think it's a very well done film. I'm very happy to own this edition. So happy I finally got to watch it in this beautiful set. I think this is still available if I'm not mistaken, I'm Diabolic for the U.S. people. For my U.S. Uh, collectors, Diabolic probably still has this. If they do, please jump on it. It's definitely a must-cop. So next up, I'm going to get into the Arrow releases that I picked up over the last few months, and the first of which is Weird Science. I said it before, I'm very happy that John Hughes is getting the 4K treatment finally. This just might be my favorite John Hughes movie kind of hard to say that because ferris bueller's day off is such a great film uncle buck is amazing as well that's coming out soon from kino lorber on 4k i cannot wait for that but weird science might be my favorite because it's the only one that's kind of like a supernatural film it's like a sci-fi film it's a sci-fi comedy missed out on the blu-ray release so i'm very happy that arrow put this out again in a 4k and with the same packaging beautiful slip cover um poster in there booklet all of it the works man you know you, you get arrow in the first run you're gonna get all that good stuff next up for the arrow release is enter the video store empire of screams box set i am so happy i got my hands on this pre-ordered it from amazon this set comes with five movies and that is the dungeon master dolls cellar dweller arena and robot jocks there you go you got the five movies right there with a perfect bound book on the side there seeing arrow release something like this I just could not resist getting this thing, even though it's a blind buy. Basically, every single movie is a blind buy for me, but I cannot wait to dive into them because I hear nothing but good things about basically all these movies. Next up for the Arrow releases that I picked up is Carlito's Way. Oh my God, dude, I had no idea that Arrow was going to put this out. Was so happy about this. Pre-ordered this immediately when it was announced a couple months ago, back in, I believe it was... Uh, june if i'm not mistaken so i pre-ordered this copy love the artwork across this thing it is so beautiful really really love it a lot um this comes with a 4k transfer of the film as well as a blu-ray disc which is a little unusual because arrow lately has been releasing separate editions whether it's just 4k or just blu-ray but in this particular one they bundled it together really really cool packaging here the book is nice the book has a really cool image in the front there of the pool table in the back of the barbershop where Carlito has the shootout with the drug dealers and it comes with a poster double-sided poster of the original artwork and this awesome artwork Arrow released two different versions of this artwork wise at least and that's this version with the newly commissioned artwork and this one the original artwork box set <laughs> yeah man i'm i got this because i'm psychotic when it comes to collecting physical media man fuck which one do i get hard to choose hard to choose i'm gonna get both baby i'm gonna get both if i love the movie both are coming home utah give me two last up 
for the Arrow releases and last up for all of the releases in this video, Jesus, finally, right? The 4K box set of Psycho. One, two, three, and four. Oh my God. Dude, this is incredible. I have not cracked this open yet. This is the newest one, the newest one that I got in. I am so excited to own this. Unfortunately, uh, just last year, I picked up Psycho 2 and 3 in the Shocktober sale from Scream Factory. So this set would have been a complete first time buy for me had it not been for that sale last year, but it is what it is. So two of these movies I already own, but the other two I do not. Oh man, so happy to have this set. This is a beautiful set from Arrow. I just love the work they're doing. I love the movies they're choosing and it just makes me so happy to be a collector of their physical media right now because these things are going to sell out. Arrow is doing great work, man. I cannot stress that enough. This is a UK release. I did not mention that. So I, I ordered this from Diabolic DVD. So you don't have to pay those import fees. Yeah, really looking forward to finally cracking into this. And I got some pre-orders that are coming in soon from Arrow. I did pre-order the Hellraiser set. Cannot wait to get that. The other announcements that Arrow made just a couple days ago. Um, they're finally going to release the Warriors. <laughs> Oh my God, yo, this was the announcement that drove me nuts this weekend. I don't even care about anything else. Like everything else that was announced is just secondary to me. It's gonna be a regular edition and an Arrow site exclusive. Yeah, I think it's obvious what I'm gonna be doing. Give me two. So that is it for my video today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw here, please don't forget to leave me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and make sure you tap the notification bell so you don't miss any videos that I post. So much stuff happening, so many things going on that is stopping me from recording videos. So hopefully I can get back on the ball with this one and keep it rolling. There's a lot of stuff coming in. I got stuff coming in this week. I was gonna wait to do this video to get that stuff, but you know what? I just wanted to get the video done. Tomorrow I'm supposed to get something later in the week. I'm gonna get something else from Diabolic DVD. So I'll just put those in another video sometime soon but that waxwork records unboxing i still got them boxes down here i'm gonna show that trust me there's some really cool ones in there i might pick up a couple of more vinyls so i'll do just like a straight up waxwork haul in one video really looking forward to doing that so don't worry that's coming so as always thank you so much for watching i really appreciate your time and until next time take care and be safe y'all